Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, Nom 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 Zero Sixty Nine, here back with our second SDL uh, Pong tutorial. And today, in our tutorial, we will be setting up our main game loop. Um, this is going to be pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it's going to just require us just restructuring everything we got. We're, we're structuring the game setup so that when we can start adding features. So first thing I want to do is do our SDL surface screen. I want to make two global variables up here. An SDL event occur. Okay. So what we want to have happening is while our game um, we need a boolean first. We need our bool running equals true. And for our game we need while running equals equals true. In this function we're going to handle all our events and draw our screen. But we so first things first we need before we can start drawing our screen or handling our events we first need to load our game now I'm gonna take this out of the main function I'm gonna create a separate function to be void load game okay and we don't need a semicolon there it's just gonna be declared up there and executed up there um, not de executed but uh, defined defined up there so load game so when we load our game we wanna have screen equals SDL set video mode it'll be taken in height so we're gonna do 800 a, uh, no not a height the first uh, the first parameter is a width so 800 and then the height 600 bits per the uh, third parameter is int BPP bits per pixel um, we're gonna go 32 and you went 32 flags will be SDL HW surface or SW surface I don't really care I don't know the difference. Well, uh, I kind of do know the difference, but I don't want to. Uh, I, I don't. I don't want to explain it because it's not a big deal. Um, so now that we've set up our screen, we're gonna do. We are going to add before it because this will make it look better. SDL WM set caption constant char title. We're gonna call that Pong. And then our icon, we're not going to have an icon, so we're going to call null. There we go. So in our load game, what we have right now is our set cap. We set the caption to Pong of our window. We create our window, and now we just add it to the beginning up here. Um, well, we deleted all that other stuff in there, so we need to initialize everything first. So we need SDL init, SDL init everything and I'm knitting everything because that's simpler than just going through and defining what we need an SDL uh, no we don't need SDL it's TTF on it and then we now that we've had our load game done for right now just come down here and do the load game boom so we have load game set up now what's next in our list we have while running equals true we want to handle events so we're gonna we're gonna call that function logic void logic and we're not gonna do anything with this logic function right now we're just gonna put it here we're gonna add our logic and then after our logic what happens next we need our void draw screen draw screen and what we could do is make these all booleans and then check the errors on everything but there shouldn't be any errors with this so we'll have our void draw screen. So after logic, we're going to have draw screen. And then it'll loop back again. Go through logic, draw the screen. And then finally, to wrap up our game, we need our void quit. And our void quit is going to be real simple. SDL quit. And we need to TTF quit before that. So our quit function is done and our load game is done for right now but we're gonna have a problem if we run this game and we play it right now our screen will pop up but we won't be able to exit it out so we need to fix that so right here in our running function because this is the best place for it we're gonna do SDL pull event and occur the name of our event up here we're pulling our SDL occur uh, event Okay. What what pull what the SDL pull event function does is it takes that event. And it's like has anything new happened with our computer? Has anything has any new events occurred? It's like if they have, we're updating it. If they haven't, we're not. 
and then we'll just let it go. And then we'll come back to this pull event at the start of the next loop and be like, okay, um, let's see if any new events occurred. And then if they have, they'll update it, and if they haven't, they won't. So we need to see what event happened, and we need to check to see if our screen quit, so that way we can set running equals to false. So if occur dot type equals equals SDL quit, we need to set running equal to false. Because when you quit the game, you, you don't want to run it anymore. So we'll compile this. Shouldn't get any errors. And bam, we run it. Now we have our 800 by 600 screen set up. Named Pong, and it looks fantastic. So I want to make sure that you are all seeing the code I have created. So we'll just go through again what we changed this episode. We... We created our global variables for our screen and our SDL event. We in our load game we initialize SDL and SDL TTF. We set our caption to Pong. We created our screen that was 800 by 600, 32 bits per pixel on SDL HW surface. We set up our logic function and our draw screen function, which don't have anything in there. And then we made a quit function. And did we put it at the bottom? No, we didn't. Forgot to add the quit function. So we created our quit function, which quits TTF and quits SDL. So after that, it goes to our main function, where we load our game, set our bool running equal to true, and then while the game is running, while running equals equals true, we pull our events to see if anything new happened in our game, and if the event dot type equals SDL quit, we're going to set running equal to false, and then we have our logic for the game, which is this function up here, which is where we put all, all our logic in, our draw screen. And then, once the, when the game exits and our loop exits, we quit our game. Everything's gone. And we'll just compile this one more time so I can prove to you it works. Run it. And now it should be cleaner because we're quitting those things. Alright, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.